guys, I'm Jessica. And I'm Dub. And we're family of nomads. We live full time in our camper. This is our master bedroom of our Heartland Cyclone 4014C. And today we are going through all of our stuff, just getting rid of some things and reorganizing stuff. Things accumulate a lot faster than you realize, especially when you live in a small space. So we're just basically pulling everything out, which is kind of how we do things, going through our stuff, seeing what we haven't really used in a while, what we're not going to need for a while because we know our travel plans for the next six months. One of the rules that we kind of do for ourselves is if we know we're not gonna use it in six months and it costs less than $20 and, and we haven't used it in six months, then we kind of get rid of get it. Rid of. Um, so we'll go through and kind of show you guys what we're getting rid of and why we're getting rid of it. And even if you don't live in a camper, this might be helpful to know how to maybe downsize your house or to just kind of like go through and declutter some stuff because we live in a small space. That's something that we've gotten pretty good at. So typically we start out with some boxes boxes or some bags. Um, I usually like using boxes so you can just throw things in there but we don't have any boxes right now. So you do one for donations and one for trash. It just kind of helps to keep things organized as you're going through everything. So yeah, you don't really have to have a whole bunch of different piles and you know where things are going when you're finished. So we have trash bags but we usually like to use boxes. So we'll just pull everything out of the closet and put it on the bed. We typically typically set, separate everything out. So Dub's clothes go on one side and mine go on the other so we can go through our own clothes. So I have all these. <laughs> this is why we clean up, right? <laughs> yeah. So we have all of these bins um, that we we just kind of keep things in the cup. Well, I keep things in my cubby. Now, the only bad thing about this is that it's not easily accessible. So I don't really like how this is organized, but I don't know of another way to do it. So I don't know. I just end up like not liking things after a while or just not really wearing something. I've noticed also with our travels, we never know what the weather's going to be. Yeah. Um, and now that we have six months scheduled out, we, we're pretty, pretty sure what we're going to need, what we won't need. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of sweatshirts we don't really wear. Uh, we're both guilty of that. I got this whenever we were in, Air in Williams, Arizona, um, when we visited the Grand Canyon, and I love it, but I have not worn it in a very long time. I feel like this is probably one of the things that could go underneath. Is it because you haven't worn it because it's been sort of tucked away? Um, the, weather, the weather the weather so the only other time I've worn it was when we went to visit family over the holidays and I went to a play or a ballet with my friend Mary that's yeah. the only time that I've worn it and it looks good on you. it's cute it I like cute. it but it's just not it's kind of coming apart I think that I'm it might be time to get rid of it that makes me really sad Put in donate, donate pile. um I'm gonna Think about it. Think about it. Okay, so. so we've got three piles, a think about pile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna think about it for right now so we can continue okay. getting anything else out. All right, some of this is gonna be really sad for me because I really like some of these pants, but I, like these came with holes in them, but now they're like completely, just absolutely ripped to shreds. So I don't wear them anymore. Like it's completely just, it's not even like cute, like ripped. It's bad ripped so i think i might give this to grace and see if she wants to sew anything with them oh she would love that yeah or like she, she may cut them into shorts yeah that's not that's actually a bad idea so i'll put it and that's another pile that we can do is because grace really loves to sew and addison can also addison also likes making things out of stuff so i think i'll just put this over here in a pile for and, see and if it keeps from it. having to go out and buy fabric yeah, yeah. So they pretty much use anything that we get rid of. Like we'll offer it to them first. We have our <laughs> silver play button from YouTube that we don't know what to do with. It's kind of heavy, so we yeah. have we've been afraid to hang it. I don't want it to get messed up. So, but congratulations. Thanks. We could just. I feel like it needs to be up somewhere though, because gosh, it's really cool to have this. But like, where do we put it at? And how do we, there has to be a way for us to be able to hang this up. All right, and then a scale, just cause you need a scale. All right, and I have this coach purse that's really pretty, but I, it's just taking up space. And every time I try to get rid of it, you talk me out of it. <laughs> I, I like it. Well, do you want it? Well, I like it for the fact that we do keep, you know, things in there that Well, we can keep just that at other places. I hate for you to get rid of it. I mean, I'm not using it though, and somebody else will get a lot of use out of this. Somebody else will really love this. 
I would rather carry a canvas bag. Yes. Okay. I would rather carry a $5 bag than a coach bag. I would like to have like a coach book bag as a purse that I carry like every day, like a nicer book bag because I use that every day, but I don't use this every day and it's not serving me any purpose. It's beautiful. Somebody gave it to me as a gift. It's reversible and it served its purpose for when I needed it. But at this point, I think I just need to tell it goodbye. Do you tell it goodbye and just put it, take it somewhere and donate it or do you try okay. to give it to somebody? I, we'll put it on the table outside. Okay. So yeah, we could do that. Free table outside? Perfect. Yeah. People are gonna get a tire pressure monitor <laughs> system, a coach purse. This is so sad. I'm like, I I'm sad, but I don't talk me into keeping it. Well, let's donate. I'm, let's I'm give just, it. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm just saying goodbye, like releasing it from my life. Cause I've tried to get rid of it. How many times? Like every time we go through stuff, I try to get rid of it and you talk me out of it. So I don't want it. I don't use it. And it's taking up a lot of space. So, I mean, these are the two things that we keep in there. Okay. And we're gonna hang this on the wall soon. Yeah, so, so. we won't even need that. So we just need to find a place for the scale, which will fit right underneath there. All right, so we've gotten rid of a whole bag worth of stuff. Do you think we should get another bag or we could probably keep stuff in there? Stuff, stuff. Okay. All right. Now, shorts are really difficult for me because I have a lot of shorts. I don't really like them all. You haven't even ever worn that? Well, I, it was given to me after it got warm. I've seen you I, wear multiple hoodies. I haven't worn a hoodie in, until recently. It's not going to hurt my feelings if you don't want to wear it. You already have so many hoodies. I, it really, if you feel like you want to get rid of it, then get rid of it. It really isn't going to hurt. I gave it to him as a birthday present. It's from the Daytona International Speedway which he was really excited to go to. If you're not gonna wear it, I'm not offended. I would rather get rid of this one. That one? Get rid of That's your favorite hoodie. Well, it's the sleeves, the last Oh yeah, I'm not so, uh, denying that it's old. I'm gonna try this one on. Yeah, <laughs> okay. It my two favorite hoodies. Does that one still have tags on it? Oh. <laughs> it's my ramen noodles. It's a great conversation starter. That is very sure. true. And we get so many comments on our videos when you wear your Taki hoodie. And my Taki hoodie. Mm -hmm. so. so you're going to keep those? I'm going to keep those. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. So we brought the scale outside so we can figure out how much it weighs that we're getting rid of. Let me zero it out. Hold on. Gonna put that on there so it's heavier. Oh, there it goes. All right, there you go. Are you ready? Yep. All right, then I'm gonna put this on top. What does it say? We are 31 pounds. Ooh, we're 31 <laughs> pounds lighter. We just lost 31 pounds. <laughs> Which it actually does make a difference when you are in a camper and yeah. towing it. Although we're significantly underweight, so it doesn't truly matter. matter but, but it's still, I was 31 pounds of groceries we're gonna add to the camper. Yeah, it? but we're still underweight, so. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go back inside and go through some more stuff. All right, so now we're going to go through our dresser drawer, which I feel like I personally wear everything that's in here. So I don't even know if I need to go through mine, to be honest. I know that I wear all of this. Like these are the things that I wear the most. So I'm not even gonna go through mine. And even this, this is literally just my socks and underwear and everything's organized. So I'm not even gonna go through that because I like all that stuff. So, these are those yours. I'm good. <laughs> I was gonna go through, but I was like, as I was going through, I was like, literally, I wear all of that. Yeah, There's and, nothing I don't wear. And you keep your drawers nice and neat. Mm -hmm. Whereas mine, on the other hand, you ready for this? <laughs> I don't even want to open it. Oh, what you got oh, in there? Oh man, this is this is my junk drawer. What you got? Oh in gosh, you ready? Oh man, I'm scared now. Hold on, hold on, hold 
All right, I'm gonna come over here so I can see what you got. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Is there stuff back behind me? I hope not. All right, so I don't keep mine organized. I just do my Why? laundry, throw, throw the stuff down in here. I, the th interesting thing to me is that you fold my laundry yeah, and put I, it away. So how does mine stay neat and yours doesn't? I take more time with your stuff than mine. Why? Because I know how neat you like it. Oh, I do like and it. And so neat. mine, so this bomber drawer, I just sort of throw everything on top and shove it. Okay. We'll make sure nothing fell back here. You don't even wear this. No, I don't. You want to get rid of that? Yeah, we get rid of that. Wow. It's nice, isn't it? Wow. Great. <laughs> Put my shirt sideways, like we. we yeah, you might sideways. need to. Okay. Yep. I oh. like how you like checked my okay, door. Okay, you like, like it? I like it. Okay, I, here, here. Oh, we got some. Okay. These are my sweats. Okay, here. Oh, that fits. And oh. you can see what you have. What's available. So you're not digging around and so you're not going to have like a whole I like it. drawer full of like mishmashed. Very nice. Stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. So should we also get rid of those Tide Pods? Oh, yeah. Because those are there too much for the washing machine. These are. Because they su it suds up too much. Look how large they are. Yeah, and I mean, even the, the smaller ones, the smaller ones suds up too much too. Yeah, and they'll be great if you go to the laundromat, but, but I don't want to hold on to these. No. Just go to the and somebody else will get some use out of them. Yeah. So. Take this outside. Yeah. Free cool. table. Right, let's free. put it's... it in the bin. Put it in the bag for the free table, and we'll put it all outside at the same time. So I think what we're going to have to do is lift the bed up. You grab everything and bring it out because as heavy as this bed is and it's, it won't stay up by itself. We've got to pull everything out and then put it on the bed. Okay. That fun. works. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, go over there. I wish you guys could see this how everything's so... set up with like the camera because the cameras are like. She's like a cat trying to <laughs> navigate everything. I do a pretty good job yeah. though. So if I pick this up, can you get everything up? Yeah, I'll get everything up. So I'm just going to put it on the ground. Yeah, we'll just Does put it right here for okay. now. Okay. Okay. All right, just don't drop it on me. Okay. <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> okay. That, I'm going to go through this and this is something we can get rid of. As sad as this is going to make me because I love would that not be a great carry-on bag? Um, in, in no, my purse? book bag. I have a black book bag that holds more than this. Okay. But this is such a cute purse and I truthfully don't want to get rid of it. Okay. So now we're going to just take some of this. We're gonna straighten up a little bit and then take some more stuff out and put it on the free table. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. Look at all this. It's just stuff that we've... All of that stuff's going outside. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's go put Let's wait and get it out of here. All right, oh yeah, we gotta weigh it We gotta too. weigh it, yeah. Oh, I, how much do you think that all of this is? Cause this is like... This is kind of heavy, this bag. I think that this is probably going to be like 42 pounds. How much do you think? Actually, I think 56. 30. You think it's Just less? this right here? All of it, yeah. Or everything we are. All of this. You think this weighs less than the other stuff that we took out? I'd say 30 pounds. So you think it weighs less? Yes. Why? I'm not sure. I'm just... I don't know. All right, well, I'm one, of us, 30. one of us is going to be wrong, one of us is going to be right. So let's take all the stuff outside. So let's go ahead and get the first things away. This, I think this is going to be the heaviest. Oh, for sure that's going to so, be the heaviest. Here we are. Uh, Ooh, I can already tell that I'm going to be the closest with my guess. This is uh, 15 pounds? No. Yes, 15 pounds. I'm 153. With this bag, I was 168. 15. Okay. So 15 pounds for this bag. Okay, okay. Now, we have these blankets and so let's reset this. So, so far we're at 15. And 
Now, can you see the school? It's not on the thing. I'm and surprised at how much that weighs. An additional 12 pounds. That's crazy. That doesn't even make any sense. I feel like you should weigh the other one again. Because the other one, hands down, has got to weigh made more than those blankets. So the blanket is 12 pounds. There's no way. And this. Zero it out. Yeah, something doesn't seem right. No, it's not right. I mean, it's the same. It's right. Wow. So additional 15 plus 12, 27. Okay, plus 30. Plus 31, so 27, 31 is... 58? 58. Is that right? Maybe. Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Thirty-one plus what do we say? Twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. Fifty-eight. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, Fifty-eight so, pounds worth of stuff. Wow. All right. Just in our bedroom. I mean, that's only like one room. So, oh, is the uh, tripods in there? The tripod is. Tripod. Tripod. Tri -pod. Yes, the tripod. Okay. Right okay. There. Good. Yeah. So I think right. I added a couple pounds, but. Yeah. Okay. Again, this couple pounds not in the camper. Yeah, we're getting rid of it too, so it counts. It's not like it doesn't count. All right, cool. Let's go take this stuff outside. Let's go. So we're down to our last bag, which is trash. Yeah, so just, we're also going to weigh the trash to... Just to tally up everything we've gotten rid of in the in our bedroom. All right, so I've got my way here. And I'll hold this right out in front of me. Five pounds. Five pounds of trash. Five pounds of trash. So all in all, 63 pounds? 63 pounds total we got rid of just out of the front of the camper. Mm -hmm. um, downsizing and just getting rid of stuff that we don't use or things we don't need. Yeah. So, well, I can't, I can't wait to get the rest of the camper. We just finished getting rid of everything in the bedroom. So I want to show you how everything looks now that we got rid of it all. It's all nice and organized. So Dub still has to um, mount this up a little bit higher, but this looks fabulous. He still has his to-do bag down there. Mine's under the bed, but that should be going away. And then we have so much extra space over here. It's ridiculous. So this looks really nice. Our drawers are completely organized. And this is Dubs, looks really nice. And underneath the bed, it like, it was completely jam full before to the point where like, I was not even getting anything out of it. So now it's like reachable to like be able to actually access things in there. So we got rid of a lot of stuff. It feels a lot nicer in here. And one thing that I love the most about decluttering is we can actually find things when we need them because when you go through all the things in like your room, you know everything that you have and the only things that you have left are things that you know that you love or are definitely going to use. So thank you guys so much for watching and we are going to be doing other areas of the camper next. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Bye.